Hi Schubert friends and welcome to another service tutorial. My name is Jesse, and today I'll be introducing you to the Schubert Device Manager. With the Schubert Device Manager, you can update the firmware of your SC1, SC1M, and SC10UA, as well as change your system's default language. So keep watching and let's get started. To get started updating the firmware to your Schubert communication system, head first to our website, schubert.com. Once on our home page, use the navigation at the top of the screen from the products drop down menu and choose motorbikes. Next, choose the communication system tab. Here you'll find information about all of our communication systems as well as a link to the Senna service site. Here, you can download the Schubert Device Manager for either your Windows or Mac computer. Additionally, if you scroll further down, you'll find user guides for all of our communication systems. I've already downloaded the Schubert Device Manager onto this computer, so why don't you download the appropriate version for yours and we can move on to the next step. Now that you've downloaded and installed the Schubert Device Manager, we can get started downloading the newest firmware onto your communication system. If you would like to change the language of your Schubert Device Manager, you can do so using the flag at the top of the screen. In this case, I'm going to continue in English. The first step to downloading the newest firmware is just clicking Next. On this screen, you'll find instructions specific to your communication system in our example, we're using the SC1. So I'm just going to attach the original USB cable to the communication system and hold down the minus button for more than five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six. If at this point your computer hasn't recognized your device, it may be due to your firewall or virus scanner. Try turning these off and trying again. Once your device has been recognized by your computer, you can move on by clicking Next. With this pop-up, you'll see what the current version of your firmware is on your communication system, as well as the newest version which is available. In our case, we currently have the version 1.2 on our communication system, while the newest version is 2.0.4. You can also, from the drop-down menu, choose a language that you would like your voice prompts to be in. Once you're ready to download the newest software, just click Yes. And then save the file. It will now begin downloading the firmware. Once the download has reached about 50%, a message will appear asking you to hold the minus button until the message disappears. Now that the message has appeared, I will hold the minus button until it disappears. The message will then reappear near the end of the download. Again, hold the button until the message disappears. Your firmware has now been updated. Once you finish downloading the firmware to your communication system, we recommend reviewing your device settings using the tab Device Setting. Here, you'll find an overview of all of your features and functions on your communication system. To learn more about each function, just click on the blue symbol with the exclamation mark. We recommend activating HD Voice and HD Intercom. Additionally, advanced noise control is especially important when communicating with other riders because it acts as a noise filter. Once you've finished reviewing all of your settings and you're done installing your firmware, you can just remove your USB cable and close the Schubert Device Manager. I hope you've enjoyed today's video tutorial on the Schubert Device Manager. Thanks so much for watching and as always we wish you a safe and fun ride.